so we just shot a giant buck here in South Dakota. show of season two for boot track adventures and it's special for a couple of reasons first off we set up a team event to head down onto Lake Michigan with Wolfpack adventures to go ice fishing for some trout um, we had a blast out there and it was fun for everybody from the team secondly um, we're doing a little bit of a fan appreciation show here where we're gonna do a giveaway for you guys and uh, I would keep your eyes open and somewhere during the show you're going to see me pop in there and announce just how the giveaway works. So let's head down to Milwaukee, Wisconsin with Wolfpack Adventures, get out on the ice and see just how many fish we laid on the ice. They're all helping us get set up, but the sun's slowly coming up out there. Now you can see it kind of off the corner, they got shack set up. Oh, 
here is uh, we have an ice sieve. It's actually an auto hook setting device. We're using it. It's real critical today because these trout, they get real uh, finicky and sensitive and what they'll do is they'll actually melt the bait or they'll actually pick the bait up and then spit it back out. Kind of playing with it, get a feel for it. So what these do, they actually set the hook for us. So we're running here. We're running a six pound fluorocarbon lead with a size 18 treble with a uh, in this one we got some spawn but we're also running shrimp and some minnows on it so what we're doing here is we're hooking the spawn on that size 18 treble we're gonna set it down send it down the hole to whatever depth we want it at which we're setting most of these lines about a foot to three feet off bottom um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this down to the depth I want it at so I'll set this one about two and a half feet off bottom and once we let her lead out to where we want that bait what we're going to do is we're going to take the tip of the rod and we're going to hook it up to the trigger mechanism so this is what's going to allow us to hook that rod on and get the bend in it so when that fish actually eats that spawn sack it will trip it and set the hook for us and then it's a race to the rod so we take the tip of the rod here and we put it in this device trigger mechanism so once we have it in that trigger mechanism we're going to pull the bobber up so that this line so this bobber actually acts as an indicator as well as it's giving the fish free line to play with that bait so we're actually letting them eat it a little bit when they get a little bit finicky finicky we like to give them that presentation of extra line so that they can you know swallow that bait a little bit more so <clears throat> What we do is we get the bobber about halfway up from where that trigger mechanism string is. So we have that, we'll actually set the line on the mechanism itself. What we're running here is a anti-freeze bobber. And we actually fill this with a fluid that keeps the line from freezing inside the bobber. And it allows the line to run freely up and down so that fish actually doesn't feel any tension of that line. So I can actually pick that up just run it through just like a slip bobber. So when a fish hits, essentially, it's gonna just kinda pull that bobber up to where there's tension in the line, and once there's tension, it's actually gonna set that hook for you, and then game on. If you're looking for a place to go in Ontario with wonderful accommodations, a sandy beach to dig your toes in, or awesome bass and walleye fishing, Dog Lake Resort, just northwest of Thunder Bay, is the place for you. You can also choose to go with Black Bear Adventures and chase that black bear of a lifetime. Bonfires and beautiful sunsets are the norm here. This segment brought to you by Vortex, the force of optics. Boning Archery Supply. Darton Archery, quality compound and crossbows. Rexpid Broadheads, strong and dependable. Nothing flies faster. Pete Shoe Dryer, we invented dry. Dog Lake Resort, located in Thunder Bay, Ontario. For the family vacation or for the sportsman who wants to fish or hunt, contact Dog Lake Resort. And by Tree Stand Buddy, the quick attach slide mount system 
for hang on tree stands. This allows you to use one hang on tree stand in multiple locations quickly, easily, and safely. Check out Tree Stand Buddy today. If you're looking for a place to go in Ontario with wonderful accommodations, a sandy beach to dig your toes in, or awesome bass and walleye fishing, 
Dog Lake Resort, just northwest of Thunder Bay, is the place for you. You can also choose to go with Black Bear Adventures and chase that black bear of a lifetime. Bonfires and beautiful sunsets are the norm here. This segment brought to you by Native Ground Blinds. Quiet operation because there are no zippers or Velcro. Use our code BTADWI to get free merchandise when you order your blind. Hunt like a native. Lightning Camera Arms. Carbon Synergy. Beat them scentless. Badlands Backpacks and Lacrosse Footwear. Okay, folks, here's how the giveaway is going to work. There's going to be two winners. There's going to be a fan winner. There's also going to be a, either a team or a team member winner from the show. What we want you fans to do is pick out the episode that you felt was the best of the season. On our Facebook page, we are going to have a spot at pinned to the top where you can vote for whichever episode you felt was the best. Now the show runs um, the week of the September 23rd through the 29th. So for the week of September 30th till October 6th, we will have um, the voting up for everybody to do. So again, the top either team or member, the top episode, those people will get a prize from me those of you, the fans that voted for this show, their names will be thrown in a hat and somebody out of that group is going to win a prize from us too. So if you haven't seen all the shows, you can go back, watch them on demand. Please put your votes in. We appreciate your patronage and, and watching the show. And um, we just want to give something back to you guys. So get your votes in. We're going to do this both um, at the end of the third quarter here in September and then we'll also be doing it again in December um, The last show I think runs airs from December 23rd through the 29th So the week of December 30th through January 5th, I believe it is um, We'll also run this contest again. So thank you for watching and uh, get your votes in This segment brought to you by bow dagger and crossbow dagger we stand up for your bows. By Ghost Blind, not seeing is believing.
by Pro Hunter Sights and Accessories. And by its Me Time decals for you. Hey, we're down here in Milwaukee fishing today with Wolfpack Adventures, and I'm here with Tyler, Jordan, and Zach. And I'm going to kind of turn it over to Tyler and let him explain how this is all set up and what we're fishing for and how we're doing all this. Um, he's the guide, the main guide, and and he knows more about this than anybody, I guess, right? Yeah, well, I mean, we're, like you said, we're down here in Milwaukee, but Milwaukee's not the only port on Sheboygan that you can do this in. You can catch fish all the way from Racine up into Algoma, Wisconsin. It's it's not just a particular Milwaukee thing. Um, these fish are coming in to spawn in the springtime like this, so we're, they spawn under the ice, some of them do, and some of them spawn once the ice goes out. So these fish are using using the marinas and the tributaries to feed up and stock up, get a good fat preserve up, so they can make that run up the river and spawn. So we're out here and we're fishing those rod and reel setups so that when those fish bite, they immediately get a hook set right to their face, and then you fight them on a rod and reel, and that hook goes in the corner of their mouth versus the stomach, so then you can get a, a better release on them. And these fish, you know, it's a, it's a true trophy fishery. It's not about the numbers, it's about the size and the beauty that these fish have to offer. It's totally different than any other kind of fishing we have here in Wisconsin, and it really truly is one, uh, one, one of the best fisheries in the world for trout through the ice. Now, this morning when we set up, we got out here pretty early, and, and uh, I guess the basic reason for that is to get your spot, because yep. as we can see, there's quite a few people out here today. Yeah, and there's not like, it's not a spot on the spot type of fishing like it is with panfish or walleyes or, or pike or anything like that. It's These fish are roaming around these massive, this giant, this is just a giant basin in here. So these fish just do circles. And the name of the game is having numbers of rods in the right bait out. And you can't buy the bait that we use in the store. So this is all stuff that we've learned over years and years of fishing. And we make our own bait, we cure our own spawn, and it's the little things that matter when it comes to trout fishing. Now I see we've got rods set up all the way from darn near on the shoreline. Yep. You know, out to, you know, past the docks out here. Um, depths of water, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, these fish, like, they like to relate, the only relation to structure that they use is the walls and the rocks. And so off to our, uh, my right right now, we have aerated docks and that may or may not hold fish. You know, some days it does, some days it doesn't. This morning right away, all of our bites came right along the wall. Well, the thing we can relate that to is that's the warmest part of the water column at that time of the day. Now, later in the day, all of our fish came out towards the end of the aerators. Now that could be because those fish are starting to get a little bit more active and just roaming around looking for bait. So, um, like I said, the name of the game is just numbers of rods. So today we're, we're running close to 45 rods and we've got 15 people on the ice and it's just uh, it's just get as many as you can out and hopefully you have a few that room, roam through and, and they'll bite. I mean, and, and when they do, it's it's a game on and just hold on to the rod type of thing. So how many years have you guys been doing this? Uh, I've been professionally fishing for eight, this will be my eighth year, uh, and then my fifth year full time with Wolfpack Adventures. And Wolfpack Adventures as a company has been doing uh, ice fishing guide trips and salmon on the Lake Michigan walleye fishing for over 17 years. Cool. So, 
We got a lot of experience in this. Yep, between all of us, I bet you, uh, between Jordan and I and Zach, we probably have almost 20 years of experience ice fishing. So uh, a lot of, uh, you know, we this is what we do day in and day out, and this is our, our full-time full -time job. Cool. So who do they contact to get a, you know, to set something up with you guys? Uh, there's a couple different ways you can check us out. The best way is checking us out on Facebook. That's our most active page. It's Wolfpack Adventures, and you can see uh, the day-to-day -day operations that we're doing and how we're doing catching fish. And then once you're on there, you can email us. You can check out our website at wolfpackadventures.com or give us a call at 920-207-1212. Well, Tyler, I want to thank you and thank you, Jordan, Zach. Thank you. We had a great day out here. Uh, like you said, it wasn't a lot of bites, but we got, yep. we got you know, the fish we did. We yep. pretty much hooked and, and they're, got in. So. They're gorgeous, and, and you have a chance at bringing a couple home to eat, and you guys did. Yep. We're bringing a few fish home to eat, too. Yep, so. you know, we had pretty plenty, actually. Yep. The rods were going, you know, it's a... But that's fishing. They yep. hook every one of them. Yep. So, yeah. I want to thank you guys, and we had a blast, and we'll be back. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you.